the wide angle fisheye camera, which is right here in the middle of the device. Now, if you move your hand, you'll notice you have red dots on your hand. Your red dots are outliers. They don't agree with the world. The rest of the world is green because all the movement makes sense. But when something doesn't make sense, uh, it tries to ignore those things. On the right, what you'll see here is the device. If I move to the right, this is a top-down view, by the way. I move to the left, or I can move in a large circle. And it's drawing a circle for us. On the left here, we have uh, gyro and accelerometer data uh, in three axes each. We fuse all of that together, so they're all time aligned uh, on, on the same hardware clock, which is really critical to make this work. So once we have this data, then we can track your movement. We can do things like shoot zombies. <laughs> So what you saw there was more of you know what the research lab has been doing for years in computer vision and robotics. Now what if we give those tools with just a simple API that spits out six degree of freedom pose, that's all we give them, and you get somebody like Limbic Labs to make a cool game. So here we are in our helicopter. We're floating over the Statue of Liberty. We're tracking some zombies. And they're coming towards the Statue of Liberty and I want to protect her. So I'm going to try to blast these away. I'm going to get down. I'm going to see them down low. There's one under the tree there. And I can walk up to the Statue of Liberty if I want. zombies as you can before the time runs out. Yeah, I'm on a helicopter. The original game, you were an AC-130, and it flew on a fixed path. And so now, you get to be the path. I can go wherever I want. Those are zombies? Yeah. This is a lot better. <laughs> Alright, so I'll show you something else. So, back to the tech world. So, so if you take the fact that we have a depth camera on the device and the motion of where you are at the time, you can assemble the depth information and make the 3D map. So, here is the table. Now what you see here was done by a couple of students from CCNY, the uh, university, interns. I'm scanning all of you in fairly low resolution right now. I can jump up to a third person view though, and I can see you all standing there. That's cool. If I go over here, I can, I can fill in some gaps. And if I pause the mapping, now the map is sort of fixed, I can move it around. But notice how it still tracks my movement. And I'm going in front of the guy with the blue shirt, I'm in front of the red shirt, or the orange shirt, blue shirt, etc. And the precise motion and angle of the device is still captured. And it's, it's really precise, so if, we're, if we were to do multiplayer, you can see exactly where the other player is. Very clean.
the street, <laughs> smacked him into place. So basically my school name is flooded. There's a shark coming. And if we want to see where that shark went, we better go down in the water.